Okay, I've just finished making my shed antler trap. Let me explain a little bit to you about what I'm doing here today. Uh, it's, a, it's something interesting and, and unique that not very many people use, and the pe a lot of people that do use it, use it wrong. And so um, I want to explain the way that I do it, and you can make modifications on that or whatever, um, but uh, you know, I feel like the way I'm doing it works the best for the situation that I'm faced with. Um, as you can see, I have a, some woven wire here, and it's attached to that tree, and then it's wrapped around this tree, and attached to this tree with a bungee cord, so um, it's in the shape of a fee. And I've put some corn um, and other deer feed in here. There's some trail mix in here, sunflower seeds, uh, alfalfa pellets. It's a, it's a pretty good mixture of uh, whitetail food that uh, will get them through the winter really well. We want to make sure that we aren't going to feed them things that aren't good for them uh, in a, just in a, a way to attract them to this site. Um, I'll tell you why I use the woven wire rather than the other possibilities that some people use. I've seen them made with bungee cords, chicken wire, snow fence. I try to avoid using anything that they can wrap their antlers around and maybe get caught up in. You know, we're not trying to break their antlers off and we want to be really careful that we don't get a buck that gets snagged up in here and uh, you know and could even possibly die before we come back that's the reason I use this woven wire because they just bump their antlers on it maybe a tine gets through a wire and they have to kind of wiggle around to pull it out what we're trying to do is make it so that when the antlers ready to fall off it falls off right here we're not trying to actually break it off so um, the woven wire it's a galvanized uh, woven wire with a variety of different uh, sizes of mesh here and it's attached with a bungee cord on this end, bungee cords on this end, so you can, uh, uh, you know, it's got a little bit of flex and a little bit of movement to it. And since it's in a V, when they come in here to eat this food that I've left here, their antlers are hitting and banging against the, uh, the wire. And the objective is, like I said, when the antlers are ready to come off, they'll come off right here. And, you know, we'll check this again in a week or 10 days and probably check it every week or 10 days or so and uh, see how successful we are. It should be fun. Uh, it's January right now. I'll, I'll keep doing this probably till about the middle of March when all the antlers are on the ground. So uh, we'll, we'll get back to you and uh, we'll see what's happening here later on. Well, here we are. It's the 1st of February, so my shed trap's been out about 10 days. And uh, boy, the deer have really been in here. It's just, I mean, we've got a network of trails coming in here. It looks like... Um, looks like the spokes of a wheel actually uh, there's a bed right there there's several more beds right over here there's beds all around me so they've been coming in here and staying here and uh, we've actually got to start somewhere right there's my first shed uh, it's a yearling buck and uh, I'd like to think that there's some bigger bucks around here um, but I'm going to continue to try to even add more attraction to this spot I'll show you what I got here today it's the third time I've replenished this bait here in the last 10 days and I'm going to add something here to try to sweeten it up. This is called, uh, it's made by boar masses, it's called the Triple Sweet Apple. It's uh, one of the many products they have that are deer attractants. And boy, it smells unbelievable. Wow, that smells really good. We got a light south wind here today and there's several hundred acres of timber forest out here all the way uh, to the Mississippi River and beyond the Mississippi River is a half mile away. Um, I don't have any doubt that a deer can smell this all the way down to the river. And uh, this will hopefully sweeten it up and continue to bring more big bucks in here. The, the, the deer are not moving much this year. They're kind of staying put wherever they can find food because the snow is deep and it's been really cold, a lot of below zero weather. And uh, boy, you can't even walk through the woods without snowshoes. Uh, you know, you're up to your crotch all the time. So. Um, I'm, my hope is to give some deer incentive to find this network of trails that will lead them right to here and, and hopefully get some bigger bucks in here. So it's February 1st. This is the fourth time now that I've replenished the bait here in the last 10 days. And I really think that, uh, you know, the next uh, 30 to 45 days is when about 80% of the sheds will drop. They started dropping a little bit early this year because the stress has, uh, of, uh, the cold weather and the snow has caused the sheds to drop a little bit early. But... Uh, Anyway, so we got to start here. Hopefully the next one will be like 10 times that big.